Welcome back to our special mini-series, Christmas in the South. We're taking you on a whirlwind holiday tour through Georgia and South Carolina in these mini midweek episodes. And our special festive hats are still stuck to our heads. <laughs> we could all use a little extra holiday cheer right now. And what better way than to show you the sights and sounds of seasonal celebrations? Last week, we visited downtown Savannah, Georgia, strolled through their historic district full of beautifully decorated homes, and had some tasty festive drinks at their Christmas market. And this week, our third stop, we visit the charming and chilly Charleston. <laughs> If you're new here, we're Howard and Caitlin Newstate, full-time travelers who've been jet-setting and road-tripping for over two years. Our passion is sharing the wonderful and sometimes challenging parts of life on the road with you, taking you off the beaten path, meeting interesting people, and trying new things. Each week, we bring you along with us to experience all the amazing places our little home on wheels takes us. We headed to downtown Charleston, where there was no shortage of beautiful holiday decorations, southern charm, and of course, carriage rides. Exploring by foot is more our style, so we strolled through the historic Charleston City Market, which is the perfect place to find a unique local holiday gift with their eclectic mix of local artisans, entrepreneurs, and authentic Made in Charleston items. Plus, it's beautifully decorated and a great spot to take a break from the chilly winter weather. As we kept walking through the beautiful downtown, it didn't take us long to find some sweet treats at Bird's Cookies. The scotch oatmeal, that's our original cookie. He started the bakery 96 years ago with that. Thank you. You're very welcome. So this is actually a local company to Savannah. We didn't know about them when we were visiting recently, but I'm so glad we got to experience it here. The cookies are really good. And fun fact, they actually make all of the Rice Krispie treats for Disney. So I had to get my little uh, snowman Rice Krispie treat here. And then we got an assortment of different kinds of cookies. Howard sampled the peach while we were in there and he said it tasted like a cream sickle. I had the scotch oatmeal, which is their original cookie recipe. This is a really neat cookie company. I'm so glad we popped in. Our next stop has come highly recommended by several people. I'm so excited. It's called Five Church and it's an actual old church that has been turned into a bar and restaurant. And from the pictures inside, it looks incredible. Let's go check it out. This is incredible. <laughs> we walked in and we're speechless. This is one of the chef's specialties here. It's the lamb burger with his secret sauce, gorgonzola cheese, caramelized onions. It smells so good. I love a good burger. So when you got the pork loin sandwich, yep. turn that around there. <laughs> look, oh, yeah. Would you just look at that? Come on, y'all. I'm so pumped. the visitor center where there's a very touching tribute called the Festival of Trees and it's put on by Dragon Boat Charleston and every tree in the visitor center right now is dedicated to the memory of someone who has lost their battle with cancer or somebody who is fighting cancer right now and they're all so incredibly beautiful and it's so touching to read each and every story and see the thought and care that was put into the design and decoration of these trees. Dragon Boat Charleston is an organization that helps encourage activity and getting out and about for those who are battling cancer and their community that are supporting them. And you can actually bid on each of these trees and all the money and proceeds go directly back to Dragon Boat Charleston. And then whoever wins or bids the highest on each tree gets to keep it at the end. So we'll have a link below if you want to check out all the incredible trees if you feel so compelled to bid on one. It's very touching. White Point Garden, which is along the water here in Charleston. There's a horse. 
It's a horse, of course. And we're gonna go check out some of the old historic homes that are all decorated for Christmas right now. Very tasteful from what I can see from the car. I can't wait to see them up close. It's a real garland. So pretty. My conclusion, accurate. This is a great place to walk around and check out some beautiful homes. This is South Battery. I love all the different wreaths, the garlands, the lights. It's very pretty. Mm -hmm. It's funny, we picked probably one of the coldest days here in Charleston to come do this, but it adds to the Christmas time feel. <laughs> yeah, but I need some hot cocoa. I know, we do. We need to find some. So we're headed to the James Island Festival of Lights and lining up is a thing. It's about five o'clock and there's about maybe a half dozen cars in front of us waiting for the gates to open at 5.30. So that way you can see the light show and um, beat the crowds because apparently it's really, really busy here. This came highly recommended by various people who told us if we were coming to the Charleston area, this was the light show we had to check out. So here we are. And now we wait. Update. We're still waiting. But luckily, I have my snack of delicious cookies that we got earlier. I think the box is about half gone now. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Some of these are so impressive. This is beautiful. They're incredible. I can't look at the camera right now because I'm driving. Yes, safety first. Safety first, but yes, like they're absolutely bridge. beautiful. Woo, that was so cool. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in the one horse open sleigh. So they've changed things up a little bit this year because of COVID and they have drive up concessionaires that you can go and get some tasty treats to enjoy while you're driving around and seeing all the beautiful lights. We got our hot chocolate. Thanks, drive through window. All right, now to see some more lights. Cheers. Cheers. Over the fields we go, laughing all the way. Bells on bobtails ring, making spirits bright. What fun it is to laugh and sing a sleighing song tonight. That was amazing. It was really, really well done. I totally get the hype. We were spot on with getting there early. When we left, there were dozens and dozens and dozens. Possibly 150 to 200 cars were lined up waiting to get in there. And we even had enough time to go through twice. We spent about an hour, we left at 6.30, and by that time, that's how many cars were lined up to get in. So if you are planning to go, our recommendation would be try to get there early if possible. But definitely worth the 20 bucks, especially if you have like a family of four, that's a really good deal. And these are absolutely incredible displays of lights. They're really well done, there's themed sections. Yeah. I really liked the Sealand section and the Candyland section. What was your favorite? Uh, Toyland for me, and then also, of course, Santa in the RV. Oh, that was really cool. Yeah. Oh, the space one was really neat too, with the oh, planets. And the rockets taking off. <gasps> Two thumbs up from us. You can't leave Charleston without having some fresh, delicious seafood, specifically oysters. We headed to our friend's favorite place, the Darling Oyster Bar, and got our fix with their seafood platter full of oysters, shrimp, king crab, and mussels. That platter didn't stand a chance against us. We devoured it. So we've made it back downtown, and where are we going? I have no idea. <laughs> I did a lot of the planning. We are going to the College of Charleston for their Cougar Night Lights. The cougar is their mascot, and they put on a nightly light show every 30 minutes. And I've been informed that no cougars have been harmed in the making of this light show. <laughs> Rudolph, my dear, the forecast ain't clear. So will you please light my way and lead this old man's sleigh? Chili Charleston has been great. <laughs> we've had so much fun and there's been so much festivity and I think it's been one of my favorite days we've had in a while. Yeah, fun, festive, favorite. <laughs> That's a lot of Fs. <laughs>
but I give it an A plus for its food, <laughs> nighttime light shows, and you know, to cap it all off at the end of the night, a really cool automated light show. Yes. Charleston, we like you and we will be back for sure. So remember, next week we'll have another midweek Christmas special. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell so you get notifications when we post all our newest videos. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. See ya.